Hey guys, Jared here, Magnetic Men's Club. Let's get into today's video and we're gonna talk about the negative mindset associated with the red pill specific to dating. Now, are all red pill or all red pill men have this negative mindset about women? No, but most of the time I have found that when men start going through the red pill, start going through this phase, some men get stuck in this phase and they tend to have a very strong, I don't wanna say hatred, I'll say dislike and distrust for women. And they lump women into the category of all women are like this, all women are the same, all women are hoes, all women are bitches, all women will just use you, all women are looking for the bigger, better deal. And in reality, the reason why they came into the red pill is they may have been involved with a woman who was like this. They may have been involved in a woman who broke his heart. They may have been involved in a woman who slapped a divorce papers on him. Or what I typically find is they're never really been that good with women and they're getting frustrated and they're looking for information and they're looking for ways to maybe educate themselves on what they're doing wrong. So they stumble into the red pill. And again, most of the red pill content I completely agree with. I'm in line with a lot of it. It's the extremist side of the red pill I'm not. But like anything else, at the extreme is where most of the action is. At the extreme is where a lot of these men that are confused, they're hurt, they're angry, they find themselves in because they find a community of men who are hurt, who are angry, who are pissed, who may have not been that good with women either. And so they find comfort in their misery. And the problem is if you stay in this red pill ideology too long, you're gonna fall into this. You're gonna stay pissed off. You're gonna stay miserable. You're not gonna trust anyone, specifically women. And it's only gonna make your, your situation worse you're going to end up finding yourself in very shallow relationships, ones that aren't really going to go much farther than maybe a couple of dates, and you're going to be alone. And I don't want that to happen to you. You're a high-level man making high-level moves, trying to level up yourself in life, and it would make sense for you to have a badass woman who is on your page who, if... All things being equal, you are the best option for her. She's never going to leave you. And that's what we talk about here on this channel is if you want to avoid female hypergamy, just be her best option and you've avoided it. So this extreme side of the red pill ideology has comes from this, the viewpoint or the vantage point that all relationships are this sort of tug of war where women are usually portrayed wicked and manipulative, that you can never trust women, that you have to have such a strong frame and because women have the upper hand in the relationship, which they do, I've done videos on why this is the case most times, that setting up this dynamic where a man must constantly prove his alphaness, how alpha he is, how much of an alpha man he is, it's all you hear is just be an alpha man and all of your woes, all of your troubles, all of your sorrows will be fixed and women will fall from the ether onto your dick and your life's gonna be perfect. Well, it doesn't work that way. To be fair, if you're looking for a short-term mating strategy, if you're looking for short-term sex, short-term pleasure, then by all means, this approach 100% of the time will work for lower quality women. Having this asshole, this bad boy, dark triad type manipulative way about you will work for low quality women with very low self-esteem and they're easier to control and manipulate. So absolutely, if that's what you're into and you're not really looking for high quality women, you're not really into really having a an amazing relationship with a woman then then stay in the red pill it's fine that's about what you're going to get but if you are tired of dating the barflies if you're tired of dating the tinder girls the community property that's always been around then this type 
of think this type of red pill, the, the toxic side is not going to serve you well. And you'll have no ability to form any really long-term, really any healthy relationships and you will definitely struggle with high quality women because high quality women are looking for win-win relationships just like high quality men. And so if they find themselves in a win-lose relationship, they'll drop your ass. <clears throat> just like you being a high quality man, making high quality moves, are looking for that high quality woman. If she is not giving in proportion to your give, then you're gonna drop her because that's a win-lose relationship. We talk all about that here on our channel, specific to social interactions, frame control, and really just interpersonal dynamics. That's what we talk about here. Not specifically dating, but it definitely helps in your dating. I've often saw these red pill forums and it seems like most of the guys who are spilling this garbage are single or say they have all these women, say they have all these girlfriends and you never see them. So I always wondered and I started doing some research and yeah, most of the time, most of this red pill community, they're single men. Or they're men in relationships that um, they are not happy with. They're living vicariously through this image as avatar that they created for themselves that they're just some big bad alpha guy and they're out banging all these girls. Guys, you have to understand, most of these influencers are trying to sell you something. They're trying to sell you a program, a product, a service, and so they're placating upon your misery. They're placating upon um, the fact that you're suffering and they're trying to make money off your suffering. So please, I need you to understand that. That is the biggest takeaway for this video. Don't just subscribe blindly to what they're saying about women and female nature, female dynamics. A lot of it is true, but it doesn't apply to everyone. If you stay down this road long enough, what's going to happen is you're always going to be worried because you're listening to all this negative information, all this negative information is coming into you by other men about women, that you're always going to worry about the next girl cheating on you. You're always going to be fearful of getting her. You're always going to be feel, fearful of her hypergamy, her, her female hypergamy. And yes, Females are more hyper, hypergamous than men. But what you don't hear them say is men are just as men are hypergamous as well, just in a different way. We're also looking for the biggest, best deal we can find. And so having this fear-based mindset is always going to put you in this headspace or this destructive cell pattern where your ego is always going to be dependent on this perceived level of dominance that you control in a relationship. And to me, that's really no way I want to be in a relationship. I love my girlfriend. She lives five states away from me. I have 100% faith she is not doing anything nefarious to me. And I also know 100% who I am. If she is, it doesn't take anything away from how alpha I am. It just tells me what type of woman she was. I'm still me. So I want to have this whole complete relationship. And I don't want to be this guy who's always afraid that his girlfriend's going to leave. That he he's trapped. He's just completely trapped in his own bullshit. His own mind that he can't just open up enough to realize that, okay... Some women are like this. I think I'm smart. I think I vetted this girl I'm with enough. I do want to provide her trust until she gives me a reason not to trust her. And likewise, I want her to trust me until again, I give her a reason not to trust me. I'm looking for a win-win relationship. I'm not looking to control her and I definitely don't want her to control me. Staying in this red pill mindset for too long, understanding what it is, but sitting in it for too long is going to create frail egos. And anytime a girl that you value, anytime a girl that you really like, you'll generally ruin it because you're trying to control the dynamics of the relationship, i.e. you're trying to control her. And that's not really what we want to do. In this channel, we want to be two complete whole individuals coming together.
I'm not looking to fix my girlfriend or any girl I date in the future or she becomes my wife. I'm not looking to fix anyone and nor am I looking for her to fix me. We need to be whole complete individuals coming together. And so if you follow into this red pill, you're not whole, you're not complete. You're actually listening to other people in a group and you're becoming part of their identity. You're not even becoming your own man. You're becoming part of the identity of the group. And it's very hard to get out of that because one of the things the red pill is really good at saying is, if you don't do these things in this order, how we say, if you don't subscribe to these ideologies, then you're a blue pill, you're a loser, you're nothing, and you're gonna, you, you'll be deserving of her cheating on you. It's stupid think, it's stupid logic. Obviously level yourself up, be the best version of yourself, get to the gym, get your money right, learn some game, learn some social skills, understand what boundaries are. All of that stuff's very important, but all of that stuff's actually important for you first and for businesses, other relationships. Once you become that type of man, are women just gonna fall onto your dick? No, but it's going to be easier to attract because like attracts like, and you will find those high quality women starting to become more attracted to you because like attracts like, and there's not a lot of good quality men out there, and there's not a lot of good quality women. So think about that when you're listening to other men talk about and put down women and say how all women are hoes, all women are bitches, all women are that, all women are this. Look at them, look at their life and say, do I want to have their life? And then ask yourself, especially if they're influencers, do they show the receipts for their life? Do they just say shit and you don't actually see what they have? I never liked when YouTubers and all this, they have a podcast. Look, I have one too, but I always tell you guys, I have a girlfriend. I'm not out screwing thousands of girls. I don't have cool cars. I'm just me, 49 year old, trying to help other guys understand that just be the best version of yourself and you will get high quality women. You don't have to have imposter syndrome and or have this idea that you have to be like an Andrew Tate or all of these guys who are imitating this Casanova. That's not fucking reality. It's not how the world works. And if you carry that ideology on for too long, I promise you, you're going to be 50, 60, 70, 80 years old alone with, when I tell this story on the women's side, alone with cats and box wine, guys, we're gonna be alone, probably going to a strip club with a dog and Utica Club beer. Because it goes both ways. So understanding what the red pill is, I completely agree with. Understanding that you have to vet the women you're with. You have to make sure they're high quality. You have to make sure they are aligned with your ideals and likely that you're aligned with theirs. That's what a win-win relationship is. But also understand that for the most part, healthy relationships are going to be about mutual respect and teamwork and that focus on personal growth. Yada, yada, yada. We always hear about that. You are still the man. You are still the leader of this relationship. And these, even these high quality women are looking for high quality men, good men to help them lead. Okay. You can't have two equal partners in a relationship. That's not what I'm saying. What I can say, what I'm saying is if you're a good high quality man and a woman is attracted to that, she will let you lead as long as you're leading in a direction that you're both aligned and committed to. That's to me is the basis of a very healthy, strong, lasting relationship. You're both aligned with what you want. If you want to just go out and get your dick wet for a couple months and then move on to the next one, you'll find that, but you're not going to typically find it with a very high quality woman. And even if by chance you happen to, she's going to pick up on it. And it doesn't matter how much she loves you. She has enough self-respect. She will leave that relationship and find a man who is aligned with her purpose, with her path and her life. So I need you to understand we were looking for win-win relationships. Don't just listen to these influencers and let them basically brainwash you into a way of thinking that 
it might sound good. It might sound like these guys have all their shit together. All I got to do is act more like them and I'll get bitches. doesn't really work that way, okay? They're selling you something. Start thinking for yourself. Start asking them, asking yourself these questions when you hear about all women do this, all women do that. Ask yourself, is that true? Do all women cheat? No. Do all men cheat? No. That I hear women say that, and that's simply not true. Are all women gold diggers? No. Are some women gold diggers? Yes. Are all men looking for, you know, stripper type badass girls? No. Are some? Yes. So it's not all, it's some, and it's recognizing going through and understanding the red pill, understanding the signs to look out for for these types of women, leveling yourself up to the type of man who is deserving of having a baddie, a high level woman at her side, understanding you need frame control, understanding that you need to lead that relationship into a healthy way. This is what I'm helping men do. This is what I'm trying to help men understand. And if you find a video like this of value and maybe a friend of yours is struggling in this, please share this video with him. Click the link down below to our website. We have different programs set up. I would love to jump on a call with somebody who maybe has been brainwashed into this red pill thing and they are really struggling now. They feel more lost. I would love to jump on a call with you. With that, that's all I got on this video. My name is Jared Schumacher. This is the Magnetic Men's Club. In the description below, we have a brand new Facebook offering. It's buy me a cup of coffee. It's a donation. So if you found a video like this helpful, please consider either donating to the channel, also subscribing, hitting the like, drop me a comment, let me know what you think about content like this. And with that, we'll talk to you in the next one. Take care, have a great day, see you soon.